share with you guys my nicely growing shell collection that I have. I do hope to go to the beach more often or other areas and try to find my own shells but pretty much all these shells I've bought or they've been given to me as gifts or I've had them from over the years. Now we'll start with these guys. These are uh, a recent buy that I did from the Florida Shell Shop. It's a really cool store. So Let's start off with my first cone shells. I got this guy who came with the uh, data. Conus Ebernius from the Philippines. I'll have to look up what the common name is for that. But yeah, I got him because I thought he was so pretty. All these little dots. And also, not only are cone snails beautiful, they are venomous and deadly creatures. It's really neat spirals that he's got there. That's pretty cool, but so flat at the same time. Very small cone at the top. Pretty cool. Now, I bought this guy because this guy didn't have any info, and I thought that this was the famous um, marbled cone. And it is, I'll put the scientific name, but it's a certain type of marbled cone. This is called the banded marble cone. And you can tell because right here it's got a band of black, and over here it's got another band going and it's not a smooth pattern of triangles these little teeth it's, oh I was a little disappointed to find out it wasn't the one look at this beautiful uh, spikes small spikes that it has up there and uh, of course when they're alive they go in this direction. This is where the head of the animal points out and they travel like this. Just hard for me to get used to wrap my mind because when I look at this I keep thinking that this is the front and they should be going this direction but they they don't. They go that direction. Okay now this is the moon snail that I showed in the previous video or moon shell But I have since then picked up two others. The genus Nautica. This is the lined Nautica. I think it's so funny that I named my bird and then these snails have this name and I didn't note it. And this is the tiger Nautica. And you can tell that it's got these pretty dots, I guess, like a, a, a large cat, like a leopard. So beautiful. Not sure which one I like that. Maybe this one just because I got this one first. The lined nautica. Nautica lineata, I think is the name. So cute. And then lastly, I had seen pictures of this guy, this big guy on the internet, and I am so glad that they had it in the store. This is the noble volute, or volute nobilis. And I just love the pattern of zigzags on this. It's just gorgeous. This is uh, an off-white, like a creamy with a tinge of pink. It's not a yellow cream color. But in some lights it can look like it's white. Here's the top. Nice and flat. Beautiful lip on this. It reminds me of the uh, Queen Conks. I don't know if this is the full size, but and I think this one's been polished. 
I don't think they're naturally like this when they're alive. I don't know. They could be. These guys are from the uh, South Pacific. And it seems to me, even though we have tons of shells here in Florida, that the coolest stuff is from the Pacific. And probably someone living in the Pacific Ocean would think that the coolest stuff comes from Florida and the Caribbean. And it seems like that no matter where you're from, somewhere else is always, always cooler and more interesting. But this thing is, is huge and it's beautiful. And one more. I saved this guy because I have never seen one like this before. I got this guy on eBay. Yes, another chambered nautilus i have so many nautilus but this one is special and unlike any other nautilus in my collection what's unique about this guy is he's what i call a half cider well that's really cool he's been polished on one side and the other side has been left its natural color So, half cider. He's beautiful. And he's big. This guy is like six inches, I think. Really, really cool. And he's got the pearl polish. There weren't many of these, and now they're all gone. I wish I'd gotten a second one. I'd love to have two, but I'm happy to have gotten this one. And I've been to stores where they have lots of Nautilus and have never, ever seen one that's been done in half. That's just beautiful. I think the way they did it was that they had to have put a tape, like a masking tape, on the one half that's natural. And then gone through, I think they use a sandpaper or something really soft and gentle and polished away the other half. It's not cut. This is not cut in half and glued back together because you can see that there's no seam or there would have been right there. And that'd be too hard to put it back together. So this was definitely polished and sanded by masking the other half. And it feels really... This side has been glossed as well. They're not naturally shiny like this out in the wild. So he's been polished a little bit on this side as well. And he feels really, really neat and smooth. So that is the haul from my first shopping spree at a shelf store.